So what's the like what's the ratio at your rink of like how many how often is it like what we call club curlers like people who come and play regularly versus um, events like people coming and booking just one time for a curling party or learn to curl classes. You know, it's uh, we can we can divide uh, countries uh, uh, that that play curling all over the world. It's uh, you know some some of the countries have very uh, uh, like a long history going back uh, 16th century or etc. So 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 curling in Estonia, you know, the start was this century. So it's mm-hmm. uh, and 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 the focus when when we started. Um, with our facility was, uh, you know, as I said, we immediately we had uh, kind of invoices to pay. So the easiest, uh, uh, the easiest part how to how to uh, make revenue was obviously curling uh, corporate events. Mm. So so, but uh, uh, you know, so so our focus was how to make this, uh, you know. How, how we how we can finance uh, the operation and um, and uh, and and at the start uh, you know we had maybe three people working for the uh, for working for the club now we have six people working for the club so it's we have grown gradu- gradually so mm. um, every every year we have more corporate events uh, the, and and also it's uh, you know we have some people coming from Scotland or, or USA and they are coming in and say, how, how, how big is your club? Uh, mm-hmm. How many members you have? And, and, but this is for, for us, it's just uh, one part of, of the club, you know, uh, yeah. you, you could also ask like how many corporate events you have or how many international events you're holding or how many student visits you have, or how many people you have working for your, what's your revenue? So, <laughs> So what what kind of marketing strategies have worked for you guys so far as far as getting new people out curling and then eventually uh, joining leagues? And then kind of what's your goal? Because you said right now it's about 10, 10% of mm-hmm. your financing is coming from the people who are members of the club. Is mm-hmm. What's your goal, mm-hmm. you know, five years from now to get that percentage, that, to get that mix um, between corporate, uh, corporate events, international events, and then membership? Mm-hmm. I, for me uh, personally, uh, I like to have a that that you know my dream club is 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 something what what we have at the moment that we we have we have corporate events we have members we have international tournaments and also we are uh, having uh, like a student visits uh, uh, every year more and more so it's. Uh, you have different like your your club stands on different pillars it's it's not just just one pillar it's not just members it's uh it's it's different things and uh i like that kind of uh, thing and and when you start i think it's very important how you make uh, how you make yourself uh, like uh, heard uh, like uh, there are so many different possibilities uh, these days uh, you know to do whatever and, uh, and I think it's very important, uh, you know, I've always like uh, one example, let's say if you have a one um, club, you know, I don't know, in Sweden or in Scotland or in the, in, uh, in the States and you and you're focused on, on members. And let's say you have 1000 members uh, in that club and, uh, and they come, you know, they, they come regularly to play there. And uh, and so you create 1000 unique visits so it's uh same people who are coming back and mm-hmm. forth yeah but in our case when we have you know uh, i think our record season was we had uh, over 300 uh, corporate events during the mm-hmm. nine we are open from wow. uh, from from at the end of august until the end of uh, may and we had 300 corporate events so the average uh, corporate event is around 15 people. So you create uh, 4,500 um, unique visits. Mm-hmm. And to, 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 to add to this, you know, sometimes we have around 1,500 student visits. So also if you add these, you have already 6,000 unique visits. These people are, 
going to their, I don't know, back to their families or, or back to their offices, they, they talk about curling. So it's actually that the snowball is getting bigger and bigger. So, so our strategy was like, how we can how we can get our volumes bigger and bigger and bigger uh, that that more people are aware of uh, uh, of curling and and you know uh, you know it's, it, the system the, the the economy or 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 it's changing all the time like what you know what is the right model uh, i think we are at the moment we we are also finding our way what is the right model in estonia you know there, there are some good examples all over the world, but uh, but but every country is different. They they have their own backgrounds, etc. So so I think every country has to find their their own model what what works for them. You can you can you can add some good things from from different countries, but uh, at the end you have to find your 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 own model. And um, so so it's, some people have asked me that uh, okay you have one thousand five hundred student visits. But Fred, uh, how many of them come back uh, or, 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 or become a curlers? And, and for me, it's not actually important because the important thing for us, it's how we can make a contact uh, with, with these students, how, how they can come to the curling and we can introduce curling to them. And, uh, and later, they become also, they, they start to work in some companies. Uh, they already know about the curling. They, they, maybe they want to bring their family to play there or, or their, their company to play there. So it's, I think it's very important that you, you, you give people an uh, idea uh, what, what is this sport about. And, uh, and uh, I think, you know, students, they have also, they, they sometimes go golfing it doesn't mean that they become golfers. They go to the tennis. It doesn't mean that they, they become uh, tennis players. Uh, they just uh, have different variety of sports and then, then they can decide what's, what's work for them. So, so for, for us, it's, it's, it's not that they have to come back. It's good when they're coming back, but, but the, 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 the idea is how we can get more people through our tours that, uh, that, uh, that, now we can say that over the years we have tens of thousands of people who have played curling. When curling is in TV, these people know already about this game. Uh, you know, they, they have some 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 kind of connection with that. So so I think for for us the most important thing has been that how we can get more people through our doors. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we are thinking how we can keep some of them and what we can offer to them uh, in order to, to keep them. Um, so this is... 